The first thing for frostbite is never, never try to warm a frostbitten area over dry heat. Uh, and by that I mean like a fire out in the wilderness or you know you might be at a cabin or something and, and try to put your hands over an element of a stove. The problem is right you're, you're, you don't you can't feel your fingers or toes anymore and so you can you'll get you'll be wanting to, to thaw it out so you'll get too close and you can burn your frozen tissue and then you just you just have a much worse situation to treat. The best thing you know if you can control it is to have a warm water bath of about 40 degrees and of course in a hospital it's easy to control that elsewhere you might be in a cabin somewhere where you could do it uh, most people won't have a thermometer along so what you need to do if you ever do it is warm it up and have you know someone who's providing the treatment put their hand in that water for a long period of time and if they can feel that that water's not burning their hand then it's safe to put the victim's hand in or, or whatever the body part is you just need to make sure it's not too hot because, of course, you'll always be striving, craving to have warmer water to thaw it out. But you can burn your hands in the bathtub as, uh, you know, if, you put, if the water's too hot. The other thing, of course, is just uh, if you're not, if you're out on a multi-day trip and you're a long ways, it's going to be a while before you get to a hospital. Again, you can just put the body part in your armpits or uh, if it's someone's foot, you can put them against your chest. Uh, against somebody else's chest and uh, warm it up uh, with direct body contact.